All right, so we just pulled the alternator out of the uh, Turbo 210, 1978 Turbo 210. We had noise coming out of the alternator. The other things that we checked, was well, here's the voltage regulator. We checked that with the oscilloscope, but there was no noise coming out of that. And the other thing that they use on these airplanes is right here where my finger is, that is a capacitor and that suppresses noise that comes out of the alternator. A lot of times it's mounted right in the back of the alternator, but uh, in this case, it's mounted on the firewall. The problem we're having though is that the wire from the capacitor to the alternator is rather long and that is not an ideal situation. It allows for more uh, RF radio frequency uh, interference. So we've got the alternator out. We're pulling it apart. We believe that it's one of the six diodes that's bad that's causing the noise. And uh, we can walk over there and check that out right now. So this is the alternator from the 1978 Cessna Turbo 210. And we were out filming and we all of a sudden got this electrical noise in our uh, audio system that was um, not even tolerable. And uh, we're going to show you a clip now so that you can hear the noise and, and how bad it was. Looks pretty good. Everything's in the green, Amanda. All right. Let's You've got it. it. Your airplane. There's the bird. Everything's in the green. Here we go. Anyway, we just pulled the old alternator out and we're checking to see, we've already done some electrical testing to determine that the noise is coming from the alternator and not the voltage regulator and not the capacitor. Uh, we did that test with a, a, an oscilloscope. So now we're just checking to see if it's a bad diode in the alternator. We used the Fluke uh, 190 uh, <laughs> oscilloscope here for uh, doing That's our right. testing. It's a, it's a very, very good unit right here. That's a portable oscilloscope, and that's how we determined that the noise was coming from the alternator and not the voltage regulator or the um, capacitor. See how that, where the solder was in there? Mm -hmm. In there. Look at that one. There's no solder, huh? It wasn't soldered right. So wow, that, so it wasn't making a good connection. There, yeah, there was high resistance there. Okay, so they, they plugged, the ones you just tested plugged right into these three holes. Yeah, see that, see, it's okay. hard to see that right there. That's why it was intermittent but, too. Yeah, uh, you can see the, because um, when I pulled this apart, that just fell out. Wow. I didn't have to pull them hard. So that was a bad solder connection right there, cold solder joint. Okay, so that's probably what was causing yeah, the that's, intermittent that's uh, noise. Causing. So actually, all you'd have to do, if we wanted to, we'd just put this thing back together, re-solder the diodes and run it. You know, I'm going to go up and look at it under the microscope. Oh, okay. And we'll just make sure that there's a high resistance there. And, okay. Uh, so that'll just verify that that thing is bad. Okay. It's all dark like it was arcing. Yeah. Holy it was a bad crap. solder joint, so then it started melting. And uh, that's what was making all the Holy noise. crap. Yeah. So I, I'm looking at the other solder joints. Yeah, they're all good. Holy crap. Yeah. So that's the problem. Well, <laughs> I'm, my, I'm saying keep it for a spare. Let's rebuild it and keep it for a spare. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. That's the resistance went up and it melted the solder and that's, that was the problem. You look at this one here and it's all nice and clean. And that one there. So that's why it was intermittent that's, because it just slowly yeah. eroded away and the um, resistance just yeah. kind of melted the solder until finally there was no connection yeah. at all. Yeah, you can see where all the solder just splattered around mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's the problem. Can you uh, do a better solder joint on it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this capacitor was mounted on the firewall which doesn't really work well. Yeah, you said because the, because the, the wire lead, between them is so long, long, that picks yeah. up RF itself, right? Well, it's got resistance. So oh. the, the, um, the resistance keeps this from charging and discharging quickly. Oh, okay. So you want the shorter you got the lead, the quicker this can charge and discharge. Okay. And smooth out that, that uh, noise. The, the noise that okay. you're getting. So we're just going to mount it right here on this ground. We'll take um, and just run this up here to the power. And that's how we're going to do that. All right. Is this a new alternator? Yes. Brand new. Brand new. Not overhauled. It's a plain power.
Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe. We've got more great videos on the way.